Hello, Memphis, Tennessee. We are passing through, headed to Little Rock. We have to stop and fuel up in about 20 miles. Glad we are not on that side. There is bad traffic. It is quite windy today and a very overcast and cloudy day. Oh, look at all the pretty flowers. Some of the skyline in Memphis. Little Rock, here we come. Well, pretty. Crossing the Mississippi River. And welcome to Arkansas. I don't know, it's spelled like Kansas. I don't know why they don't say Arkansas. <laughs> the natural state. Whoa, it's windy up here. Oh, geez. Okay, slow down a bit. Very gusty. And here's the actual state line. Boop. Wow. Those gusts are pretty strong. Thank you, Charlie. Stretch, move, stretch. Are you awake? Still sleeping. <laughs> Got two and a half miles until our exit. Those clouds look a bit dark and ominous. In two miles, take exit 278 Ford 7th Street, Missouri Street. Thanks, Charlie. Whoa, what's going on here? Wow, that's dangerous. Holy moly. That could have been a situation. Made to our exit and just in time. The traffic looks pretty backed up there. Oh. Continue on I-40 frontage road east for half a mile. Will do, better get over. I think our gas station is on the right. Okay, there's the rest area there. Arkansas Welcome Center. Very nice looking. It's like a big, huge cabin. Uh, we're going up to the gas station here. Whoa. I will say there are kind of some bad drivers here. <laughs> A lot of people zipping around, cutting up in front of you and stuff. All right, here's our gas station. 319 plus five cents off. Your destination is on the right. Hey everyone, Ajay here from Pandemonium. Wow, the traffic is loud at this gas station. We just came from Nashville area. And now we're here in Arkansas, like you saw, like you saw, <laughs> Arkansas. Remember, it's crazy out there. And then the police officer that was driving down the wrong side of the road, just crazy in Arkansas. We were going to continue on, but it doesn't look like the traffic is moving very fast. So I'm not sure. We'll see after we get gas. Our plan was to get to Little Rock today and then stay there the night so we could do some exploring tomorrow. Not sure if that'll happen. Back out to the front of the road, follow up through the next intersection and back on the field. Alright, gotcha. It's another tight little um, parking lot. Good thing there wasn't a lot of cars in here. So the traffic seems like it's cleared off. And I believe we're just going to go ahead and head to Little Rock. I was thinking about staying here in West Memphis, but it seems a bit on the crazy side. It's crazy, Mumu. There's a crash on I-40 West that is causing a 16-minute delay. Oh, that's what it was. Route. You should reach your destination by 7.14 p.m. Oh, get my seatbelt on. Use the left lane to take the I-40 West ramp, then merge onto I-40 West. Okay. At least the traffic is moving, even though there was an accident. 
It was at a standstill, well, sort of standstill, but not really. I don't know, I, if I can just stay in this lane, I'm not sure. I don't see any arrows saying get over. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, I do have to get over. All right. Messy, messy. Oh. oh. So I'll let the police officer a through. On I-40 West between exits 271 and 260 that is causing a delay. My goodness. You can avoid it by going via I-40 West, which saves 10 minutes. Messy, messy today. Messy, moo, moo. It's just messy. Oh, oh, yeah, I see Jeff back there. I was wondering if he was able to get out. There's a lot of trucks here. There's a truck up ahead that's pulling a, a mobile home. Wide load. iDriveArkansas.com. Oh, that reminds me, I have to check my Florida, um, toll. So I remember we went through one toll in Florida. I better get that paid. Oh, shuttle bus is going for a piggyback ride. <laughs> Those are nice new shuttle buses. We have 120 miles to go, about two hours. And we've already been traveling for about the same. Trying to get some miles driven. Wants to divert us on this exit here, but the traffic's moving, and the side road on the left is actually seems backed up, and it's going to take us on that side road over there. So I think we'll just keep on going. Yeah, because it, I think there's another stop up here, or traffic gets bad up here again. Oh yeah, maybe we should have taken that way. At least it's moving. Oh well. Yeah, because it says this backup is 32 minutes. Oh jeez. Oh, we got a full tank of gas. Want us to take this exit here? I don't know. It seems like the side road is backed up too. Still two more miles of this stuff, so we're just gonna go ahead and take this exit. I don't feel like Take sitting in this. At least we'll be moving somewhat. The so I think the, like I said, the accident's two more miles. So let's continue on, because it's getting late. It's already almost six o'clock. We still have 110 miles to go. We've only been 10 miles. So even if this is moving a little faster, that'll be better. Oh, it seems like a lot of semis have just pulled off and decided to call it quits. Yep, still not moving too awfully fast. We'll see how this other road is. So this is a side road here that it's telling us to take. Turn right onto US 70 West. Let's see how this Continue goes. On US 70 West for nine miles. Okay, so, oh, there was nine more miles. Or maybe nine miles till the exit, but I think it was saying that the accident was two more miles ahead. But at least we're moving. It's the second field of yellow flowers I've seen. Jesus, wind is awful today. We are definitely moving a lot faster than we did before. Traffic on 40 seems like it's cleared up, so I'm gonna get back on at the next entrance ramp. Seems like tornado weather. Wow, the wind is just ridiculous. We've got about a mile before we get back on I-40. 
And it looks like it's going pretty fast. Oh, jeez. What strong wind there is today. Okay, here's our turn. Take the next right onto Arkansas 75 North, then turn left onto the I-40 West ramp. Will do. Turn left onto the I-40 West ramp. All right. I think that was the worst traffic experience that I've had quarter mile, while RVing. West. Must have been a pretty bad wreck or something. Uh, we didn't even get to see it. All right, we can continue oh, on. Let this trucker go. Okay, less than 100 miles to go before we hit our destination in Little Rock. Jeff was uh, saying that the reason why a lot of the trucks are pulled over, because there have been a lot, it might not be just the traffic, it's also the wind advisory, because it's pretty strong today. And if it gets any worse, then we'll definitely do the same. Well, that looks very swampy. Holy schmoly, that's some strong wind. Okay, I'll keep it at about 55.60. Wow, look at all the pretty pink flowers on the side of the road. Well, this has definitely been a long trip. <laughs> Not long in distance, but just long in getting here with all that traffic. We still have 30 more miles to go. So I'm sure by the time we get there, it'll be dark. Or close to it. It's already pretty dark. Well, that's a big old wide load. We're almost to our exit. Got about four more miles. Wow, that thing's taking up the whole road. I think it was trying to get past that semi. Dangerous. Wow, I'm surprised the screen is still so bright. Normally my GoPro would be all black screen. Pretty, it's getting pretty dark outside. It's overcast and raining too, or sprinkling. Finally, we made it to our exit. Exit 156, then continue on to Spring Hill Road. Here on Spring Hill Drive. Welcome to Little Rock. We're actually on the outside of Little Rock. Continue on to Spring Hill Road, then turn left onto Healthcare Drive. Good morning, everyone. We are getting ready to get on the road. It's supposed to be 90 degrees today. Oh, it's getting hot already. Anyways, we were on our morning walk before we jump in the rigs and get on the road, and we 
saw this. It's very pretty. I mean, it's just here at the medical center, but it's a beautiful water feature. Before we leave town, we've got to run over to Walmart, get a few supplies. And then I think, what is it, about 90 miles? Yeah, yeah 90 miles and then we'll gas up. I don't know, for some reason, the last gas station that I was at, it stopped, so I thought it was full, because it stopped at like $54, but then when I got on the road, realized it had stopped too early or prematurely, and it didn't get all the way full. So I'm at about half a tank, but I can make it 90 miles, no problem. I don't know if you can hear that, but I think they're testing the tornado sirens. Last night when we were taking the dogs for a walk, I thought, yeah, an RV could fit there. Seems like somebody had the same idea. Since we had that buffet yesterday and was quite full, we decided to go into Cracker Barrel last night and get some dessert to go and bring it back out to the RVs. That was the worst dessert I've ever had. It was the peach cobbler. They didn't even cook it. It was. And it's just, it was basically peach and juice. There's no cobbler. I had to take it back in. And they're like, oh no, that's how, I'm like, no, I've eaten the cobbler here before. That's not how it comes. Um, they said, and then the manager was like, no, uh, if you just cook it. And I'm like, we have to cook it. I mean, you're the restaurant. <laughs> Anyways, so we just, I just put it in the microwave for about mm, two minutes and then let it cool down and it did finally turn into peach cobbler, but it's a very bad experience. Jeff made a good point. We always thought that they were um, like homemade because it's Cracker Barrel, you know, but it's actually instant because there's their little uh, dried biscuits that they put on top and then I guess that soaks up some of the juice and then they cook it and stuff. It's, ugh. and you know, $16 for two people for two desserts. That's, you would think they would do better than that. Here at Walmart, we ended up grabbing our supplies. Now, I haven't had lettuce wraps in a while, and we had leftover meat from our meal the other night. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some rice. We picked up some big leaf lettuce, so we can do the wrap. And then we're, I'm gonna reheat the meat and cook some veggies to go with it. We also got some kimchi. Right, Mumu, we're excited about dinner. <laughs> well, you can't have any kimchi, but. I'll make you a good dinner too. Continue on I-40 West for two miles. All right, getting back on I-40 and continuing our journey west. One of our friends slash landowners and our group there back at home is having a birthday party, Nicole. And um, I think it's on the 27th or 28th. So we're trying to make it back by then or a little before then she always comes to my birthday party so I want to make it to hers I'm just not sure we still have let's see how far am I from Williams Arizona if you drive Williams 1232 miles away thanks Beth so yeah about 1300 miles away still so we'll see I'm trying to I want to be there but don't want to Oh. oh wow look at that old church that's beautiful I don't even know it's not old I don't think but it's beautiful all right we're in Fort and we'll be going to the right here to Fort Smith I believe it was do. We do have 69 miles, like Charlie said.
downtown Conway. We have a Conway back where I used to live in Myrtle Beach. Jeff and I were just discussing that the roads here in Oklahoma are really nice. We haven't really come across any bad roads yet. We haven't been all the way through the state, but this area has been really good. So we have 40 miles left till we hit our refueling point. Still going on 40 west to Fort Smith. Pottsville, six miles, Russellville, 10, and Fort Smith, 90. Wow, it is so green here. Everything is just lush and thick, all the vegetation. It's beautiful. I guess I should enjoy it while I can because once we get back to the desert, it's going to be a lot of dry desert, but also Williams. The spring hasn't sprung there yet. There's a lot of evergreens, but the other trees won't be leafed out yet. I think our last frost date there is May 15th. So we got about 10 miles till we reach our, well actually 8.3, till we reach our exit and our refueling stop. Okay, we're here at our exit, 84. We're here at Flying J, and I've got to fill up on propane and gas. Propane is $3.99, unleaded is $3.15, and diesel is $3.88. Just paid for the gas. The guy had to explain to me how to use this because it's a Passover. So he said, take this, put it on the ground, that seems weird, and then turn it on. Okay, and it's prepaid $100. It's ready to go. Okay, I just come to the other side. And this one should work. So let's see. No, nothing's working. Oh, maybe I have to flip this up. Okay. All right, now let's try it. There it goes. Perfect. Oop. I hate these ones that want to... You can't never just set them. They're just annoying. Well, that was a bit confusing. But anyways, I'm glad I got that done. I'm going to fill up on water. They do have drinking water here. And they also have a dump station. Jeff had to dump. I do not. Uh, oh, yeah. And propane was $60 to fill up. I was pretty empty. I had three quarters of a tank, but since there was the drinking water here, I decided that I'm going to go ahead and top off. After my water is done filling, I will, or we're going to go inside and have some lunch. For lunch, Jeff got the pot roast melt with french fries. I've got the California Turkey Club. It has bacon and avocado and some lettuce and tomatoes. And look at their fries, nice and crispy. Mm. Yummy. Well, lunch was delicious, and we're back on the road. Going to be getting back on 40 West. Turn left onto the I-40 West ramp, then merge onto I-40 West. So our stopping point for today is 130 miles away. So a little over two hours, not too bad. By that point, I'll probably want to stop driving anyways. It's like someone lost their pee bottle. <laughs> London, four miles, North 49, 66, and Fourth Smith is 74 miles. So you remember how I was saying that the road was so nice here in Arkansas? Wow, I jinxed myself. After Little Rock, the roads get kind of bad. It was worse 
back there a couple miles, there were definitely more potholes. And instead of fixing the road, it looks like they actually, oh, there's a big pothole right there. Let me go around that. Um, instead of fixing it, they just kind of fill the pothole. I definitely have seen worse, but it's not the greatest by far. There's an overlook here, so I'm going to stop and see what it, ah, uh, huh. In the quarter mile, merge onto I-40 West. No tent camping. I don't see an overlook. Maybe it's past the trees? Uh, it's kind of thickly wooded, so uh, I'm not sure how they see an overlook here. Oh, I'm not walking through those thick trees. Okay. Well, well, let's see. Is there an overlook? No. There's no overlook this way. Look, because there's a, a fence there and a road on the other side, so you can't go through the woods. I don't really see nothing this way. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Uh, well, you get to see that. I see somebody has a, a fire going. There's smoke in the distance. Oh. I see what they're talking about. So over there, there's a huge lake. I guess um, maybe if I stand on the picnic table, you'll get a better view of it. No, I won't do that. They're kind of stretching the overlook. It's not much really to see and you can barely see the lake. Get in there, Missy. Get all comfortable. <laughs> I saw this coming up and I was like, oh, that's going to be awesome. I like to look at overlooks and stuff like that. Getting to check out some pretty scenery. But that was definitely not worth it. Continue on I-40 West for 113 miles. All right. Oh, I guess it's just a big river. There's a better view of it. Is it hot, Moo Moo, huh? It is hot. That's why I got the AC on. Pretty warm out there today. Like I said, it's supposed to be in the 90s or, or high 80s. What is the weather today? Today in Knoxville, it'll be sunny with a forecasted high of 85 and a low of 64. I am not. Currently, it's 85 degrees and sunny. Tennessee, Knoxville. What the heck? All right, we're getting ready to pass exit. 67. Oh, oh, there's a Knoxville here in Arkansas, too. Okay. Well, that makes more sense. I was like, she is way off there. Thanks, Bev. Welcome to Oklahoma. Welcome to Oklahoma. Thanks, Charlie. Getting a piggyback ride, piggyback ride. I like the new one. Go ahead. So about 16 miles into Oklahoma is the first rest area. They didn't really have a welcome center by the border. I think we're, this is where the visitor center and information center is from Oklahoma. Let's see cars and RVs this way, vehicles with trailers that way. Welcome to Oklahoma. Nice, they have a spot for specific RVs here. There was a campground that we were going to go to, but it's already uh, about six o'clock, so I feel like it's little too late to be checking into a campground. It's a self-service campground, I believe. And um, there was no information online, so we're just gonna have to go there and check in. But I definitely want to check in earlier so we have a longer stay there. We're gonna check online, but if it's possible to stay here, we might just do that. It's not parked right by the trucks and semis, so at least it won't be as noisy. Hey, Kellogg. Yeah, it's okay to stay overnight in any of the Oklahoma rest areas, including the Welcome Center, for up to 24 hours. Oh, that's awesome. 
And this rest area does have a dump facility, which is pretty cool, but I already topped off on water and I didn't really need to dump. But I might actually uh, take a shower tonight and then um, dump before we leave and then go to our campsite tomorrow. Of course, they have their vending machines here. Wow, they must have had some issues. They have these things locked behind. It looks like prison bars. <laughs> They have nice sheltered picnic areas. It kind of looks like a teepee. And there's the welcome center over there. So this is called the Hoppy Lockhart Welcome Center. And they've been here for 40 years, wow. Pretty cool Oklahoma sign. <laughs> I like the eagle. I had to make Moo Moo stay back here and lay in the grass in the shade because there are no pets beyond that point. All right, Mimo, you ready? Huh? Up, up. Good girl. Good girl, look at you. You're so well behaved. Yes, you're okay to chill in the grass, aren't you? They have restrooms here. And oh, Jeff and Kellogg are at the dog park. Mimo, it's a doggy park. Come on. And there's no dogs. It's awesome. You'll love it. Little dogs. Go ahead, Mumu. That's for you. Go inside. <laughs> oh, Kellogg's like, hello. Kellogg's ready to go. He's like, there's no dogs in here to play with. Oh, you scared her. <laughs> get it, Mumu. Get it. It's just water. This one actually works. Although it does leak a little bit. That should be good. I think she gets scared of the motion. The water? Yeah, the water. Kellogg, yeah. you want some water? Yeah. I don't think he likes it either. He's scared of it. Come here. Get it, get it. <laughs> He's like, I don't like it. Yeah. There's some on the ground if you want to lick it off the ground. Yeah. So there's their dump facility right there as you're going out. And it does look like they have water there, not um, clean water, probably just uh, dumping water. Okay, we have changed our mind. It is quite warm, and not to mention, we're on this concrete, which is kind of reflecting up and making it even hotter. So we're just gonna go ahead, even though it's late. Right, Mumu, it's late, but it's okay. We're gonna go ahead and head to the campground and just get plugged in so we can cool things off. I do have my AC in the room, so I could just go hang out in the room, but, you know, Jeff's here too, and it's just, it's kind of, it's kind of steamy. So it just turned six o'clock, which is good because we didn't waste much time here. And we are about 29 miles away. So yeah, we'll definitely go. Just get plugged in and get comfortable. Non-potable water, I thought not. Okay, that was the dump station. All right, Mumu, I got the AC on, so there you go. Oh yeah, that feels good. Okay, about 30 minutes till we're at the campground. In 1,000 feet, merge onto I-40 West. And hopefully there are available sites. <laughs> 